So when I first came into care, I was four years old. We did a lot of sleeping in cars and sleeping in motels when we could, but I didn't realize because I was a child, I thought that it was normal to be surrounded by people under the influence of opiates and alcohol. The day that I came into care was very scary. There was a police officer, a social worker, and then the person unlocking the door from the motel, and they came in and they said that we had to pack up our stuff and that we were going to be leaving. And so I remember wearing a t-shirt. I don't even think I had a winter coat. And I just remember thinking that it was normal to always be cold. I was scared of police officers. I had been taught that they were not the good guys and they were against us. They were gonna take me from my mom. And so getting in the back of a police car with my sister with only a garbage bag full of clothes, like my whole life just being swept up and carried away was very scary. So my foster parents are Sue and Tim. They took me in and they went above and beyond. And for that, I'm very grateful because I felt like I have a family that is there to protect me. My first Christmas in care was definitely one that I will never forget. We had never had Christmas. I didn't know what it was. I just assumed it was another day. So to be opening gifts that were just for me was, I can't even describe the happiness that I must have felt in that moment. Uh, seeing other families together during the holidays and the dynamic that comes with Christmas can be quite overwhelming for foster children as they don't necessarily have that same dynamic. Transitioning out of care was nerve-wracking. I strongly believe that I would not be where I am today if it weren't for the foundation supporting me specifically financially when it came to post-secondary school. I found that foster kids have to be extremely resilient when it comes to change. You don't have people backing you if you fail. You can't fail, you just can't because if you do, where are you going to end up? And so I think that although it was very nerve wracking, it was also empowering because when I was aging out of care and going to post-secondary, it was finally my choice. And being a foster kid, you don't really have a lot of choices when you're put into care. I think that it is very important to support young people and advocate for them, specifically when it comes to foster children because they don't have anyone advocating for them. The impact that the foundation and the donors and sponsors have had on my life has made me a better person, a better friend, a better sibling. My goals for the future involve getting a job in the field of international development which I recently graduated from, and long-term would be starting my own non-for-profit in the humanitarian aid sector. Through the support that the Children's Aid Foundation of Canada has given me to further my education, it has made me very hopeful in ways that I can give back 